How you doing, Warriors? I'm Coach Schwimp of the SOCOM Shooting Team. And I'm Coach Lewis. Today, what we want to talk about is wellness, strength, and conditioning as it relates to the shooting sports. I just want to start out talking about some things that you can do back home before you ever come to the range and will have a, a direct benefit on your performance uh, for the day. Let's talk about this basic exercising um, and cardio. You know, if you're a guy that likes to run or swim or bike, uh, th those are awesome activities. Anything to, uh, to increase your cardiovascular and to lower your heart rate, uh, those are good things. Stretching is also a good thing, uh, particularly in the standing and the pistol. Um, you're, you are standing there for about 70 minutes uh, for the 40 shot course of fire. So um, some proper stretching, back exercises, stretching out the lower um, uh, part of your back would be uh, very helpful. One of the two things that has a, a huge impact on your shooting performance is your diet and your medication. If you think about your body as a system, and anything that goes into your system that's going to increase your heart rate has got to be considered. Because at the end of the day, you're trying to achieve a very solid position to reduce the wobble area. So anything that increases the heart rate goes directly to the front sight post uh, or the aperture of those air, air guns. So let's talk about diet, for example. Typically, you want to stop uh, eating um, about two hours before you come to the range. Uh, and what should you eat? Anything that's high in sugars or carbs, um, uh, again, it's sugar in your body. Um, if you're a, a smoker or a dipper, I mean, that, that nicotine, uh, coffee drinker, the caffeine, that's all going into your system. And uh, again, it gives you a little, a little high in the jitters. Uh, and if you're trying to, to relax and hold a nice solid group, that's gonna have a direct impact. I'm a coffee drinker. And so for me, I've gotta get finished drinking my coffee about two hours before I come to the range uh, because it's definitely gonna have a direct impact on my ability uh, to, shoot, to shoot an air rifle or an air pistol. Water, being properly hydrated, that's huge. Um, uh, we're talking intense focus, aligning those apertures for either 50 to 70 minutes uh, for just a course of fire. Uh, if you're not properly hydrated, your vision is not gonna last that long. You actually have about 13 muscles in your, around your shooting eye, and that has to be conditioned just like the rest of your body. Now let's talk medications. Uh, most of us take medications and so you need to be able to evaluate the impact on your body that the meds have. Again, anything that comes into the system that's going to increase the heart rate needs to be managed. So uh, consider all those, those things. So for a shooter, having a more wholesome, healthy diet, uh, cutting down on the carbs and the sugars, we're having a huge impact. Let's look at Coach Lewis, for example. He's been eating chocolate cake, brownies, drinking coffee, now he's smoking a cigarette. I don't know how he thinks he's going to be able to perform, but we're getting ready to go shoot. Are you ready to go shoot? I thought we were done for today. <laughs> now let's take a look at some different strength and conditioning exercises that you too can do at home, even if you don't have the gear uh, to train at home. So uh, one of our warriors, uh, Chris McGlennis, uh, was in this exact position five years ago uh, when he got selected to participate for a training camp in the Warrior Games. So Chris, talk to us about what went through your mind at that time and, and what you did to help get you started. Sure, uh, when I was training for my very first Warrior Games, I had no gear whatsoever and uh, had, to, had to get a little bit creative. I knew that the position was particularly tough for me because I was new to the discipline and I needed to get a little bit more, uh, instead of just standing on my own in, in the position, I needed resistance. So the first thing that I, I that popped into my head was grab a dumbbell. Now I, I rest my rifle on my fist so this worked out real well and I would get in position with that dumbbell and I could feel if I was if I was a little out I'm using all muscle but when I get in that position I'm creating that bone support I could hold that a long time and I would, I would typically do this while I was watching TV I would just during the commercials like Herschel Walker worked out during commercials, <laughs> I would sit there and try to hold for the whole commercial. 
Over, in the beginning, I couldn't, and near the end, I was holding during commercials and resting, watching the show. And that was how I started. And then that developed to the point where I, now I was comfortable with my bone support and uh, I had drilled in the neurology of the stance and I was able to repeat it, but I wasn't able to do anything as far as aiming. Um, and that's where the evolution came in to using the two by four. So the idea I had with the two by four was I, I needed, it. Coach Swint was constantly at that time drilling into me front sight, front sight, front sight. So I figured I'd put a front sight on a two by four, put a dot on the wall, get in that same position. I would still have resistance because there's so much wood out in front. I get in position, intently focus on that front sight or nail. And you can actually feel, you can actually, you're also working your stance because when you're focused on that front sight, on that dot on the wall, you can see that wobble. And then you, you would have to reset. And it's a great training. Yeah, there's about 13 muscles in the shooting eye that also needs to be conditioned as well. So that was a great idea from just a household item like a two by four and a nail. So we kind of took that, like, you know, you can take it a step further if you want to get creative. And so we took another two by four and took an eye bolt, put it in the rear to simulate the rear side aperture and then put, taped a nut with duct tape. So you actually got a front sight. So now you have two separate apertures that you can actually align apertures. We taped, duct taped a piece of wood right here and a, piece, and a nail and just bent it to simulate a trigger. So now the training becomes even more effective. So as he's aligning the apertures as we would do in an air rifle, wait a minute. And he does this for 30, 45 seconds a minute. You build up to that. Uh, it's even more effective training. And you can also integrate the weight with it. If you don't have a dumbbell, you can just use a gallon of water. Uh, it weighs about eight pounds. And uh, the air rifle weighs about eight pounds. So now he's got even more resistance uh, to, to simulate what that actual rifle feels like. So as Chris said, you know, 30 second commercials, some commercials are a minute, you build up after 30 seconds, take it down. You know, you do that 10 to 12 times a, a day, maybe three times a week, that's a huge benefit. One more thing you can do if you don't have, I mean, if you did not have that, you could take some of these, uh, the medical bands that are resistant. And so um, if you just took this like this and I'll have Chris demonstrate, stepping on this with his foot, pulling it up on the back side of his thumb, see how he did that? And then, again, grab your two by four, and he's, he's added some resistance to his position. Again, at the end of the day, you, if you're gonna get fatigued in uh, either 55 or 70 minutes to, through the 40 shot process, this is something every warrior can do find something at home to be, get creative to help build up the strength and conditioning for the, uh, the air rifle standing. Now let's go take a look at what, what you might be able to do in the prone position. So Coach Lewis and I wanted to demonstrate things you can do to help increase your strength and conditioning in the air rifle prone position. Of course we've got our trusty makeshift air rifle that we showed you, an everyday work glove, and a bungee cord. So, uh, Coach Lewis, show us how you can implement these things to, for some training. Well, um, to get a little resistance, to build up from not having numbness in the arm, I'm going to attach this bungee cord, put it over my body here behind me, attach this end to my chair. I'm going to bring it running in, around, simulating having a sling on. I'm going to take my glove, slide it on to help hold the end of the bungee cord in place so I don't have unnecessary tension in my hand and can relax it. Put my hand up here now. I've got this bungee cord pulling back and down on my hand, which will help build up the bicep and the shoulder while holding the makeshift rifle. Go ahead and go through my points of contact. Make sure I'm consistent. Point the rifle down range. 
work on checking my natural point of aim. And the Warrior Games up forward arms got to be a, have, have to be at a 30 degree angle. And a, a, a common experience that we have is that arm starts to go numb. So you have a time limit of 55 minutes to shoot that 40 shots. Um, our well-conditioned athletes can probably get done in about 25 minutes, uh, but that's that, that's the process to get there. But it all starts with this right here. Actually, Coach Lewis has a great cheap well. He can simulate reloading. Uh, he's building the endurance, uh, not only in his arm, but his, his, his body, he's got to sit in that chair uh, for that length of time as well. Your body's got to get accustomed to that. And on top of that, he's actually aligning, aligning sights and conditioning his shooting eye um, that can benefit. And he can even put independent trigger control on his makeshift trigger right there. So these are great items, uh, a great way that you can train uh, at your home just using everyday items. You know, we got a little creative with it. Uh, you, tan, you can too as well. Um, so uh, let me, in conclusion, let's go over what we covered today. We talked about wellness, strength and conditioning. We talked about our diets and our meds. We talked about and the impact it has on your body. We also talked about different training aids uh, and household items that you have that, can, and not, that you can use uh, to train to increase your, uh, your conditioning as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do take advantage of the items around your household. Be creative. Stay focused. Look forward to seeing you guys out on the range for a little pew pew, pew therapy. therapy.